guys, it's Amy, your brand new Monster Energy Pit Reporter for the Vans Warped Tour. I'm on my way to Baltimore, Maryland to meet up with Memphis Mayfire and talk about how they're getting ready for tour this summer and answer some of the questions that you guys posted up online. Let's go see what they're up to. How's it going? I'm Jake, I'm the drummer of the band. I'm Maddie, I sing for the man. Cortez, bass. I'm Kellen, I play guitar. Basically the band started four or five years ago um, with somewhat of a different lineup and then uh, when we were when the band was in the studio, uh, their singer left the band and so they started doing auditions for a new vocalist. And um, basically after I think upwards of a hundred auditions or so they just didn't find the right person and through a group of friends found me uh, on the internet uh, and just I sent in an audition and it worked out really well it meshed right off the bat so I moved to Dallas and the rest is history we got a new bass player Corey around that time but um, he's obviously been in the band as long as I have and since then it's just been strong. The latest album is called The Hollow um, it's been out for about seven or eight months now it's had an amazing response and I think that record is one of the main reasons why we're actually on Warped Tour this year is uh, just the response we've gotten from it. We're happy with it, fans are so happy with it, and we really couldn't have asked for a better release. It's our first record on Rise Records as well, so we're really, really happy about that. Okay. And you guys, have, we're going to be working on a new album? That's right, yeah. Uh, we'll be going back into the studio in March, recording all the way into April, and then um, releasing that album while we're on Warped Tour, probably about mid Warped Tour. Okay, cool. And so you guys will be playing Warp Tour for the first time. How do you guys feel about playing Warp Tour? Uh, we're all ecstatic. Yeah. I mean, like, we, it's definitely something that we've always wanted to do. And I think for any band in our genre, it's definitely uh, a, like a goal, something that you want to do, like while you know, like while you're playing music. And so, I mean, there's a lot of bands that haven't been announced yet that we know of that are on the tour that we're just so excited to play with and to be a part of. And, just to have that be part of our history and part of our resume as a band is something that you know you can't really you can't really put a price on. It's just it's, it's unbelievable for us. So we're happy. Yeah, honestly, um, when they started the band, I think you can kind of tell a story. Pretty much the short version of the story is that we started out as a, with a different name and played a show but quickly realized there was another band with the same name and they were just raging a bunch of fuss about it. So we're like, alright, fine. So basically we went back to like the drawing board of all these names we had come up with and we're like, alright, let's grab these three words and put them together and that's, we all agreed on that at the time. So It's really meaningful. Yeah, very meaningful. <laughs> you should get it. <laughs> but I hear that there is a ship yeah. called oh, Memphis yeah. that USS caught on Memphis. fire in USS May. USS so, I mean, like, I guess you could say that's the reason. Depending on which It's all different. I mean, everybody's got different influences. I think Jake's more pop based. Yeah, I. Drum wise, at least, uh, my the two main influences uh, when I started getting into. This kind of style of playing was definitely a uh, Seo Sin and Underwood. I think I, I studied their albums religiously in high school and learned every single beat to every single song. And for a while, that was my. People could tell, they're like, man, your drumming is identical. And it probably was identical. I think I stole a lot of the beats and fills from them, but, but now it's kind of spread out a little bit over different kind of music from like radio pop music to heavier metal stuff so for those are definitely my main um i mean as a, as a vocalist that in in this genre of music um there's not i guess there's not a, a whole lot of vocalists that do the singing and screaming thing uh and so i guess a band that was really influential to me in the style was a band called blindside they're from sweden um incredible singer and screamer and had really cool techniques with fading in and out of each uh, and going into the, you know one or the other so I guess I studied his vocals a lot and being influenced for me yeah. I mean I grew up on mostly classic rock being around my dad you know anything from Leonard Skinner to Hollow Notes but uh, my favorite bass player of all time has to be Matt from his legend by far the dude just rips like no other 
I kind of steal the style a little bit. <laughs> uh, I grew up on 90s rock. I'm a 90s rock baby. So, I mean, it's like Pearl Jam and Stunt Double Pilots and all, everything in between. It's, it's my jam. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same for me. Yeah. yeah. What's up? We're Memphis Bayfire. We'll see you. Uh, <laughs> What's up? We're Memphis Spitfire. We'll see you at Warped Tour 2012.